Gin and pickle. Now I know this may be sour for some of y'all, but hey, you gotta try everything once. <laughs> Texas has always had a unique blend of Texas and Louisiana culture, and you can see it clearly in the food. Here, I've had burgers with bountiful toppings, sandwiches filled with crawfish etouffee, fried up crabs, and even Cajun grilled cheese sandwiches. With the blend of cultures on our eastern border, you'll also find snowballs, which are just like snow cones, but just a little bit different. People ask me all the time, what's the difference between a snowball and a snow cone, because we have both. Well, I said, New Orleans calls it snowball. Texas calls a snow cone, and the difference is in the ice. It's a shaved, not the crunchy crunchy, but a shaved, smooth, smooth ice. Donna Harris is the owner of Quinchies in Beaumont. I have true new owners coming here and says, okay, I think we test you because, you know, they're from New Orleans or whatever, so I know a lot of them test me to see if it's the real thing. An East Texas native, she grew up in Henderson, Texas. What's it like being uh, from the town with the oldest Dairy Queen in Texas? Oh, I loved it. Loved it. And it'll always be home to me. Back when she was a child, her parents had a small snowball shack, and it was where Donna became fond of the frozen snacks. My parents had the, one of the first machines like we use in Texas, and it was just a mom and pop place, a little bitty building you might to get two people in there. How old were you when you worked at your parents' place? Well, I first started, I was 11. Back in those days, prices were a little bit different actually sold smalls for 10 cents and larges for 15 cents and it was really busy. Donna always had the desire to get back to providing folks with simple sweet treats that always get people to smile. So in 2017 she opened Quinchies with her husband Dave. I always dreamed of a place like this. This is definitely a fun place. You know everybody that comes here is happy. Can you imagine being mad while getting a snow cone? Yeah, or... anything sweet, right? Yeah. <laughs> over my so... snow cone. Quinchy's signature is gummy bears. On top of all the sweet snowballs, you'll find gelatinous grizzlies greeting you with this sugary, cold, crunchy dessert. If you forget their gummy bears, I'm like, where's my gummy bear? You know, I mean, the adults are like, where's my gummy? But there's another snowball that doesn't come with a gummy. Oh, no. It comes with a pickle. So an Eskimo pickle. A lot of people say, what is an Eskimo pickle? And, you know, I tell them, I say, it's a lot of pickle. <laughs> you know? Exactly. How much pickle are we talking about here? We do straight pickle juice on our pickle snow cones, and this is an actual pickle inside the snow cone. Pickle on the snow cone. Pickle in the snow cone. Yeah. <laughs> so you get the best of both worlds, right? <laughs> this is the shaver. Now, I didn't want to end things on a sour note, but Donna was adamant about putting me in a pickle, so she put together one of her signature Eskimo kisses. Oh, it sounds like it's humming in there. Oh, yeah. It hums because it's got a... It, 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 shaves that block as you push it through here and that's why your ice has to be tempered in a, in a good temperature because that's what's going to make it. What's a good temperature for ice? I mean, well, 32. Uh, yes. My husband would not know that because he like, makes sure our ice is tempered the way it's supposed to be. snow consistency. Okay, so. You know, it can't be too wet, it can't be too dry. Okay. If it's too dry, you can't form it. But if it's too wet, then it's water water. Right? Okay. So we do half, half white. Okay. <laughs> Pickle juice, and this is straight pickle juice. Okay, just pickle juice right in there. Pickle juice straight in there. Wow. And then we take a pickle. That's intense. That is a lot, like I said, it's a lot of pickle. Take the pickle, put it in there. You really gotta force it in there. You really do. It kind of kind of just sticks up right there, and then you put ice around it. Okay. That pickle's going like, whoa, what did we have in the freezer? <laughs> That's why it's an uh, Eskimo pickle. It's very interesting to see a, uh, first off, a yellow snow cone. Yeah. But, uh, it's also weird to smell. Something sour in, in a snow cone. Oh, we even have a sour that you actually spray on top of any flavor you want. Oh, okay. Sour. Sour. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Tastes like a frozen pickle. Oh, oh weird. <laughs> Not to be confused with a Piccadilly snow cone, which I got to enjoy in Bay City a few this snow cone has no sweet juice in it at all. It's all pickle, baby. My mouth was like hovering. Yeah, that's not pickle's big thing. It's so weird because you get the consistency of snow cone, and your mouth's like, yeah, it's so <laughs> sweet. And it goes, oh no, it's not. We sell tons of it, tons of the pickle juice. It's hard to keep it. How many at least does it take to get to the pickle? Oh, uh, well, now you can start eating the pickle when you get to it. What's the preferred <laughs> method? Is it just going like this? Yeah. Or like, yeah. Uh, they just take it out and bite it, go back in there. And 
Because uh, you have the yeah. spork here, you can yeah. spork it. Or... Yeah, this can kill five of it. Oh, pickle compliments are great. Yeah. Eskimo pickle is the perfect item for your igloo, but if you prefer a sweet snowball, there's still plenty of options as well, and they're all well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. And once you take a bite of that perfect snow cone, then there's nothing like it.